Like many people over the last year, this Marlboro native found a new hobby during the pandemic. However, not many people turn their new hobby into a business. I'm Emma. Um, I'm from Marlboro. I was a fourth generation graduate from Marlboro High. Um, and I recently opened a needle felting business. I picked up needle felting over a pandemic. Um, I really wanted to start pottery again, but I couldn't go to a pottery studio. And so I picked up three dimensional needle felting and then I decided to start doing two dimensional needle felting. The first one that I made was a very bad mushroom. Um, it was basically a three dimensional needle felt that I stuck on some wool. And then I started the process of making about eight different Dalmatians um, of my little sister's Dalmatian. And I made eight different iterations before I finally found one I was comfortable with. After I gave my sister for her birthday her Dalmatian, um, my mom posted it to Facebook and immediately everybody was like, I want one. And I was like, oh, okay. And um, slowly I started uh, taking interest on commissions and stuff and it just kind of snowballed from there. I have always pictured myself opening a small business. I didn't necessarily envision it being needle felting. I actually tried to open an embroidery business two or three years ago. Um, but then I made one piece and I realized that it took me 80 hours and I couldn't charge $400 for it, so it didn't make it make sense. Um, but I've always envisioned myself opening and selling. I double majored in two different fine arts um, and I always wanted to be an artist. First, you need to find your um, image. I mostly do, you know, pet commissions is my biggest thing. Um, then you need to create a template for it. Then you need to transfer the template onto linen, which I actually do like a connect the dots type of a thing. So I poke the dots in and then I like connect the dots on the linen. From there, I always start with, if I'm doing an animal portrait, I always start on the eyes. And then I kind of just go out from there as it makes sense. Um, and with needle felting, with two dimensional needle felting, you take a barbed needle and you stab wool until the fibers interlock. So with two-dimensional needle felting, you're using a base. I always use linen because I really like the uh, difference between the wool and the linen. Um, and you just stab it into a foam so that it interlocks until you create an image. Navigating like the business side of it has been incredibly challenging. Um, I had some idea of what would go into that. I used to work for a small local fabric store. Um, so I kind of had some idea of how he ran his business, but um, Navigating things like shipping and uh, managing timeline expectations. These can take between 10 and 30 hours to make. Um, so managing people's expectations of, I can only make you know, two or three a week at most. Um, and then figuring out things like how to ship and how to pay taxes. I think the biggest advice is don't let the kind of idea of all of the things that you have to go through to set up a legitimate small business stop you from pursuing that. Um, and also don't let pricing stop you from doing that and making that. There's always going to be somebody, I've, I've learned very quickly that there's always going to be somebody who is willing to buy your art or your support your creative endeavors at the cost that you need to have them. Like this piece will probably be sold for about $125. And a lot of the pet portraits, they range in price from um, $100 to up to $500 if you're getting multiple pets in a big hoop. Um, and a lot of those are, you know, keepsake pieces. So I want to be able to, you know, after five years um, or 10 years, if they're starting to slouch or anything happen to them or if they get damaged, um, they can easily be, you know, repaired. My very first art market is going to be on July 10th. Um, and the second weekend of every week, I'll be going to this same um, art market in Norwood. Um, I'm really excited, but it's in two weeks and I'm like kind of nervous. <laughs> For more information and how to purchase, you can follow Emma's accounts on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Etsy under the name Leaf Pile Studios. From WMCT, I'm Katrina Lambert.